Hi viewers, I'm back with another review of another unusual one ounce silver coin and uh, this particular one is from um, Banco de Mexico and is the Disco del Muerte and uh, hopefully Igor will chime in with a little bit of Spanish for the Spanish viewers. Yeah, not entirely sure what you want me to say. I'm going with mariposa, mantequilla... Donde esta la biblioteca? Well, you could have started with uh, Monedas para Colombinas. Uh, yeah, pre-Columbian, pre-Columbian coin series. Or yes, one of one of many. The sort of pre-Columbian series is sort of like a, a meta series with smaller groups in it. Um, so this one in particular is from the the, the Teotihuacan series. There's also ones for the Olmecs, the Aztecs, the Maya. Uh, Vera Cruz, I think, is another one. And obviously, this one, uh, the design is um, taken from a, a design of a, a stone that was found at the base of the Sun Pyramid. Pyramid of the Sun. Pyramid yeah. of the Sun. Yeah, that's in, right. In presumably in Teotihuacan. And um, yeah, it's, it's a stone measures about four foot diameter. I'm not sure how much it weighs, but uh, it features this skull surrounded by uh, sun rays, or well, they believe they're sun rays, don't they? Yeah, I don't know whether the sun rays are on the original stone or whether they've been added for the. No, they're actually on the stone. Yeah, on the stone. I, 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 yeah, I was in the image. I've never seen the stone, but hopefully one day you will get to Mexico and see it yourself. <laughs> And the Sun Pyramid, what did you call it, the Sun Pyramid? Pyramid of the Sun. Pyramid of the Sun is the third largest pyramid in the world, apparently. And, um, anyway, these are struck in, in Spanish Eagle? Placa pura. <laughs> Fine <Yeah>. silver. <laughs> a uh, on that one. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so anyway, that's the uh, design. Hopefully it's showing up pretty well there. Stuck, str stuck? No, struck in put your silver. And only struck for two years, 1997 and 1998. I have a feeling we have quite a low mintage as well, not just by virtue of the low mintage. Yes, they were indeed, Eagle. And I have a set here. Uh, which has the uh, one ounce, quarter ounce, and half ounce, and the mintages I think, uh, I think for the one ounce were three and a half thousand something like that, mm -hmm. and the quarter and half ounce were between two thousand four hundred and three thousand. So yeah, very very low mintage, <laughs> and only struck for those two years. Anyway, they have the same, uh, let's flip these over, see if we can't look at the back of them without dropping them everywhere. And obviously it has the Mexican coat of arms. I don't know if it's technically a coat of arms or a crest, probably more of a crest or a national symbol than anything else. Yeah. The coat of arms is very much a medieval... I thought it was the coat of arms, but... Um, no, because the coat of arms is very much a medieval European thing. But I don't Yeah. Especially in this country, you can't, you can't call it a coat of arms unless it's appointed by the College of, College of Arms. But anyway, there's the coins for you. An unusual one. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. Right, catch you on the next one. Bye.